In this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, Trello cards in Slack, which is actually a very nifty feature, and it makes it super easy to uh, just not get distracted by opening the Trello board and just pop in Slack, make a card really quick, and then go on with what you're doing. So the first uh, command we're going to show you is the work command. So work, the work command is used to make backlog cards. So if we're in the general uh, Slack channel and we use the work command, it's going to route the Trello card to the general backlog Trello board and in the from chat column. So if we do work, eat some cheese, um, we can see that uh, this card is going to be created. It, it drops a link to the card in the Slack channel. So we can click that link and we can see that this card has been created. It's in this front from chat column, and I already made a work card to use some cheese. So that is a high priority item. Okay, so that basically that follows a convention, right? So uh, or follows two conventions. So all the work columns, all the work cards are routed to the Slack channel, followed by backlog in the front from chat column. So if we want to uh, a command that's a little bit more generic, a little bit more flexible, we can use the card command. And the card command can be used to create uh, a card in any Trello board, in any Trello list. So here's an example. I have a playground board and I have a list, for example, fun stuff. So if we want to create a Trello card in the playground board on the fun stuff list, we just use this card command, card, Playground. And now I'm supplying arguments to tell uh, tell the command where to go. Uh, so playground, fun stuff. Um, go fly a kite. Kite. I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, that command has been routed to the fun stuff uh, list. It's on the playground board and. Uh, the card command is nice because it gives you that flexibility to make a, a card in any board and any list, but it just requires more typing. That's what we have, where we have the other ones too. So the final command I'm going to show you guys is the retro command. And retros, uh, basically by default, uh, it moves these commands to a retro board and you need to specify which, uh, which list it's going to go in. So Let's uh, look at the retro board. Okay, I don't know if I set this up. So let's see if this works. So retro went well. I am happy. Um, okay, so that was set up, thank God. Uh, so basically, we're again in the general uh, Slack channel. So. By default, this is going to be routed to the general retro board in Trello, and we needed to supply which list. So we supplied the went well list. We could have uh, supplied the needs to change list, and that would have created the card in this list. Um, so you get some useful error messages with this when uh, you do things improperly. So let's say retro and blah. So remember we were saying for the retro command you need to supply the list or uh, the command doesn't know where to put the card. So well that's not a helpful error message but in general you should be able to get a helpful error message. Uh, so basically the way this is uh, set up is uh, you create a slack uh, slash command and these slack slash commands, these are custom slack slash commands and these send post requests to your application. And we developed this uh, Slack Responder application. Um, Slack Responder. And the purpose of this uh, Slack Responder application is to respond to those uh, post requests and to make the Trello cards. So there's another developer that's actually working on a uh, Sinatra application that's a lighter weight than this Slack responder application and it has the same exact purpose. So 
Uh, I highly recommend you guys create those Slack slash commands, clone one of these repos, and spin it up because it's really an awesome thing to have in your Slack and uh, Trello workflow. All right, uh, ping me on GitHub if you have any questions.